So in this example, we want to evaluate integrate log x dx. So I assume that all of us know that when we differentiate log x, it would be 1 over x dx. And when we integrate log x dx, we need to make use of this formula. So integrate log x dx, when we applied integration by parts, we assume these two other functions that we are going to work on. So first of all, according to the rule of integration by parts, we multiply these two functions. So we have x log x. And then we subtract, we swap these two functions. So we subtract integrate x d log x. So we still have x log x minus integrate x. So we know that d log x is actually 1 over x dx. So x multiplied by 1 over x end up having a 1. And when we integrate 1, then we will have x. So the answer is, x log x minus x plus a constant c due to the fact that it is an indefinite integral.